favorite $100 super size sales. These sales were posted in my Facebook group in May and we have a dedicated thread every month for sales of $100 or more. So make sure to post your big scores there for possible inclusion in these videos. Okay, before we get into the sales, I want to throw something out there and see what you guys think. <laughs> I was doing some research and this listing popped up. The winning bid was $7,100. Uh, what? So, it was an auction and I looked at the bidding history because there were 44 bids and there are two bidders battling it out. So I wonder if this is even real, if these two people are just playing around, or if it is real, if the buyer even pays because they have four days to pay and this auction ended on June 12th. And what's also kind of puzzling is that this listing doesn't even show on Terapeak. It didn't show as active or sold, which is very odd. I tried many different keyword combinations, copied the title exactly and put it in there and it doesn't show up. So that's kind of puzzling. But I guess we will only know for sure if it actually sold if the buyer pays and maybe leaves feedback or if the seller relists it. So it has not been relisted as of today, which is June 14th. So I'm going to keep my eye on this just to see what happens because um, $7,000 for a plush? <laughs> um, is that real? I have seen them sell for in the thousands before, but this is kind of off the charts. So the item number is there on the screen, and you can look that up and follow this story if you want to, because if this is legit, I will be looking at every German Shepherd dog plush I ever see out in the wild. But I really want to know what does the eBay community think about this? What do you think is going on here? Um, leave a comment and let's have a conversation about it. Okay, now let's get into the sales. We've got Terry John who paid $6 at Goodwill. This took a couple of months to sell took an offer of $100 plus shipping. This is a vintage St. John Santana knit button up purple cardigan. $6 and sold for $100. Melissa Sluck, Betty Spaghetti Lot bought for $5 at a church rummage sale, sold in about one week on best offer of $100. I could have waited and gotten more, but I needed the money, so I took the best offer. Yes, Melissa, a lot of us are right there with you. <laughs> um, it depends on what kind of sales you've been having that day or week or month. Um, best offers are definitely a moving target based on what else is going on in your eBay business. So you can see there it's a lot of 16 Betty Spaghetti items and she took a hundred dollar offer for those. Wendy Kruger paid eight dollars at a jewelry sale sold for one hundred dollar plus shipping in five months. 
The item is Amy Kahn Russell Sterling Silver Carnelian Amber Clip-On Earrings. Very unusual looking item. Doesn't look like it would be worth $100, but there you go. Okay, Linda Arnold paid 65 cents as part of an online auction lot. Sold for best offer of $100. Sunset Needlepoint Kit Unicorn Forest. Vintage 1998. So this is the kit, not the completed cross stitch, or I'm sorry, needlepoint. 65 cents into $100. Gotta love that. Christy Coffer paid $1 at a little thrift shop near Asheville, North Carolina on a visit back in 2020, so three years ago. Originally listed for $175, a shot in the dark, but I usually aim high when there aren't exact comps. Took a best offer of $100. I'm happy with that profit, especially after having it listed for so long. It's headed to Australia. Okay, moving on to Kim Smith. Paid $7.99 at Goodwill. Took a best offer of $102 after several months. This is an Anthropology Farm Rio tiered color blocked boho maxi dress. Love all those keywords. You really covered everything, Kim. $7.99 sold for $102. Sarah Pyatt, they just paid. <laughs> Yes, we always celebrate when they actually pay. Found this at the bins, paid less than $2, listed for $120, and accepted a best offer of $102, plus shipping after a month. The colorway is beautiful, and I just loved this piece. This is a vintage Cervelle open front cardigan abstract coat duster wool blend boho sweater. Very cool looking. Two dollars sold for a hundred and twenty. Denise Roggi. I never thought I would see this day but I finally made a sale over a hundred dollars. Yay Denise! Congratulations! This is for you! I love seeing people get their first hundred dollar sale because <laughs> then you're really hooked if you weren't hooked on eBay before. She said it took a little over a year to sell. I bought it for a dollar at an estate sale. It was published before 1918 and in pretty good condition for its age so I felt confident that it was worth the price. I sent an offer to Watchers for $106.25 and it was accepted. It was sent to Thurgood Marshall Law Library in Baltimore, of all places. The item is Uncle Wiggly at the Seashore, 1915 book. Wow, what an artifact. <laughs> A dollar and it sold for 106 dollars and 25 cents and again congratulations Denise you were well overdue for a hundred dollar sale next up is Tommy Wallace purchased this set of irons from a local flea market for eight dollars and sold within four days on best offer of 109.95 plus shipping the item is King Cobra oversize three PW Iron Golf Club Set. $8. Sold for $109.95. Okay, next up is Brian Rappaport. And it shows he is a top contributor, which, yes, he is. <laughs> Paid $30 at a garage sale last week. Sold for $109.99 in a few days. Apple AirPods second generation with wireless charging case. 30 bucks 
sold for just under 110. Vanessa Goff paid five bucks from a local thrift store and took about two weeks to sell, sold for $110. And this one is on my bolo list. <laughs> I always look for these, have not found them yet. And if you haven't heard of these, Rothy's are eco-friendly shoes made from recycled plastic. All styles, including flats, sneakers, and loafers, are endorsed by celebrities on social media. Some styles are limited edition and command higher prices due to rarity. And you can find that information on page 132 of the 2022 Bolo Handbook. So now you know that. Anyway, back to Vanessa. She paid five bucks for these and they sold for $110. And they are just a basic navy blue Rothy's. The style is called the driver, meaning their driving mocks. What a great find. One day I'm going to find these too. <laughs> okay, moving on. Susie Palmer Grant paid $4.05 for the books at an estate sale and sold for an offer of $114 plus shipping. As a former cross-stitcher of Paula Vaughn Designs, I actually had one of the designs I had never finished and knew I never would, <laughs> so I threw that in as well. Took three months to sell. So the item is Paula Vaughn Lot 52 designs, 28 leaflets, $114, and she only paid a little over $4 for this. Jane Brown, this was donated to my shop, had it listed at $200, sent many $150 offers, accepted offer received of $115 after two months. This is a Ralph Lauren Rugby Double Indian Head Sweater. So this is probably vintage. And she got $115 for it. And it was free. Good for you, Jane. Kimmy Whites took a best offer of $115 after a month, paid $10. After everything, I cleared about $80. And this is a quite unusual item. Western Horse Saddle Leather Purse Shoulder Bag. I can honestly say I have never seen anything like that before. <laughs> $115 and she only paid 10. So yes, the unusual, and maybe you might call this ugly, but the unusual definitely sells. Suzanne Keen, vintage Revere Wear stainless steel lasagna pan purchased at an estate sale for $3, sold for $119.99 in only four months. These clean up easily with Barkeeper's Friend. Thank you for that tip. <laughs> Revere Wear 4 Quart Casserole Lasagna Pan. $3 sold for just under $120. Donna Dabs. I picked up this stand up mirror from a thrift store for $4 and it sold the same day for $120. I almost walked past it. Then my picker brain said, Look again. Haha, ha, good one, Donna. It's a mirror. Look again. <laughs> okay, this is a Dawn Drum Brutalist Alien Flower Aluminum Mirror. Another unusual item. $4 sold for $120. Dr. Stephen Gittler paid $12 at an estate sale, sold for best offer of $120 in two days. The item is Faith Lessons 12 Volume Ray Vanderland DVD and Books. 12 bucks sold for 120. 
Okay, is this your real name? Pat Pat Lou Who. I'm thinking you are incognito on Facebook. <laughs> we don't need to know your real name. That's fine. Anyway, she said, I bought this vintage prom dress for $5.99 and spent a lot of time cleaning and washing it. It had some flaws, but I loved it. I had it listed for $148 and it had a lot of watchers right away. I gave in and accepted an offer of $125 plus shipping and handling after a month. Received great feedback too. This is a Nadine Vintage 3, I guess a size 3, pink princess prom dress. That is quite lovely. It looks like a piece of cake. <laughs> Let's see, she paid six bucks and it sold for a hundred and twenty-five. Beautiful, beautiful item. Julie Brown. Finding vintage character linens is exciting for me, especially new old stock in sealed packages. I found this set at a church rummage sale for two dollars. Not much to find out about this character. Lady Lovely Locks, so I priced it high and waited eight months for full asking price plus shipping. I heard the angels sing. At this church sale. FYI, when selling sheets, it is best not to list as a set unless you have flat and fitted and the pillowcase. To some people, a set means the entire set, not just the sheets. And I learned this the hard way. So the item is Vintage 1986 Lady Lovelock's Flannel Sheets. Excellent. And she paid two bucks and sold for $129.99. Way to go, Julie. Brett Stewart also a top contributor. I love how Facebook just puts those labels on there. I don't know what the criteria is to be a top contributor, but yay for you if you are one. <laughs> anyway, Brett said, bought this printer about two months ago on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. Took a best offer of 130 on May 21st. This is an HP DeskJet Hewlett Packard inkjet printer. 20 bucks sold for 130. Alicia Rouston. My husband bought the Archie lunchbox from an estate sale this month for 650. After doing some research, he realized that the thermos could increase its value. So he found a matching thermos on eBay and paid $40 after he won it on auction. He revised the listing and raised the price to 150. He got an offer last week and sold the set for $134.99. So entire investment was $46.50 for a $135 sale. This is a vintage 1969, the Archie's Lunch Box with Thermos. That right there is definitely a relic and it looks to be in pretty good condition too. Susie McRae Terry bought at Goodwill for around eight bucks. Took around nine months to sell. Sold for $139.99 plus $6.99 shipping. Vintage 1970s Levi's bell bottom jeans, orange tab. Very good. Dorcas Martin bought at a church rummage sale for six dollars. Sold in one day for full price. This is the fifth Christmas item I sold this week. <laughs> Yay for you! <laughs> Christmas sells year round. Yes, it absolutely does. This is a rare Heartland Nativity set, vintage plastics. Six dollars, sold for a hundred and thirty-nine dollars in the month of May. So all you folks out there listening that have Christmas or any holiday items pushed to the side, don't do that. List them. They could sell right away. Catherine Samples Farnsworth, also a top contributor, 
Ralph Lauren jacket paid seven dollars and sold for a hundred and fifty plus shipping took a couple of weeks polo Ralph Lauren military green embroidered Thunderbird Aztec over shirt jacket seven bucks sold for a hundred and fifty Barbara Grove Therian bought at Goodwill on May 3rd for three dollars and eighty cents sold for 155 plus shipping plaid Bucilla heirloom collection cross stitch kit I love selling these they're so easy and they can be so valuable three dollars and eighty cents sold for 155 and just a side note if you are not looking at the needlework because you don't know anything about it check out my course in the premium library about needlework it's several hours long and if you've never tried the premium library you can get a free 30-day trial go in there look at whatever you want download anything you want and if you find it's not for you no problem you won't hear from me again but I do have that education for you if you are avoiding needlework because you're intimidated you've never done it you don't know what it is this course will definitely help you become more knowledgeable and make more money Cindy Minders picked this up at a thrift store for $30 with my discount ran a seven-day auction the item is Griswold number eight chrome plated chicken pan with lids it's cast iron 30 bucks and it sold for 157.50 okay here's another incognito person <laughs> this is not her real name picky old fuss budget that actually comes from the Charlie Brown cartoon somewhere along the way that's what they called Lucy so um, and I have actually met this delightful woman in person when she came to Greenville for a visit so that's all I'm gonna say I'm not gonna blow your cover <laughs> anyway she said this quilt graced the end of our bed for 20 years recently started redecorating our bedroom and took a best offer of hundred and seventy five dollars for it I did pay twenty five dollars to have it dry cleaned first but still a good profit for something we used for so long yes I love this repurposing things that you've had forever trust me pretty much anything you have in your home someone will buy <laughs> this is a Ralph Lauren Aylesbury red floral king comforter and so cost was really only the $25 to have it dry cleaned and she took an offer of 175 next up is another top contributor ginger lamprey picked up this at a garage sale estate sale for two dollars on April 29th sold for best offer of hundred and seventy five dollars with free shipping this is a vintage fire king ovenware design grease jar with lid two bucks sold for hundred and seventy five pretty quickly okay here's KC another top contributor don't worry I won't say that on every single one I just noticed it <laughs> paid fifty dollars at the thrift store I pulled all of the mini figs out and priced this to move quickly as I have little space sold for hundred and seventy nine dollars in three days after sending ten percent off offer to watchers this is a lot of 42 pounds of Lego movie sets parts with no mini figs sold for one hundred and seventy nine dollars Mary Lou Verboys paid ten dollars from an estate sale sold within two hours maybe I didn't list it high enough but my dad has a saying that pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered so I'll take it this is Intex 2001 the wet set little shark ride 
pool toy floaty. Okay, $10 and it's sold for just under 200 and you're thinking why? Why would someone pay that for a pool float? Well, let me fill you in. This item, well, one like it, was in the 2021 Bolo handbook. Any of these vintage Intex inflatable things can go for big money because the vinyl is more durable than what they make now and it's used for making costumes like for cosplay. People actually cut them apart and make something else out of it or they may use the entire inflatable for something. So be on the lookout for that because these can sell for big money and this is one of those items that you really wouldn't think is very valuable and you could find it anywhere. So back to Mary Lou, $10 from an estate sale, sold within two hours. That shows you that this item is highly desired when it sells that quickly. And Mary Lou, don't beat yourself up. Somebody could have had an email alert set up. So as soon as it was posted, they purchased it. Um, but you're right, don't get greedy because then you might end up with nothing. <laughs> Okay, Lauren Lena Morgan, also a top contributor, purchased this Ricky Freeman for Terry John formal gown at a newly opened Goodwill in my area for $10. I became familiar with this brand last year while helping my mom hunt for the ever elusive Mother of the Bride dress. Accepted a best offer of $200 plus free shipping after about five months. So there you can see this gorgeous formal gown, $10, sold for $200. Savannah Boone, and a shout out to Savannah who is a new mom. Congratulations, Savannah. And I'm glad to see that you're working in some eBay on the side because being a new mom is very exhausting and time consuming. So. We're all rooting for you. <laughs> Infants are hard. <laughs> anyway, Savannah paid $3 at Goodwill and sold for $215 in four months. This is a turkey call. Imagine that. $3 sold for $215 and it's a turkey call. Anything goes on eBay, right? Next up, Joyce Newman Bodenhammer. My daughter picked this up at an estate sale for $20. Took about three weeks to sell. 1978 monogram 1 8 scale Corvette model kit. 20 bucks and sold for 225. Francisco Infante. Lucchese boots are always a great find for me. Don't find them too frequently, but I'm always excited when I do. Yeehaw! I found these at a garage sale for 20 bucks. As I was paying for them, someone was asking if they were still available. Not anymore, partner. I accepted an offer of $225 plus shipping in about a week and then rode off into the sunset. Cue the music. I can definitely do that. Item is Lucchese Classics Handmade Full Quill Ostrich Cowboy Boots. 20 bucks sold for 225. Karen Goodner Monks paid up $40 at a church sale but took a $235 offer right away since I was going to make some money on the shipping with the close location of the buyer. This is LV Double Electric breast pump brand new sealed in box 40 bucks sold for 235 Patricia Morales my husband bought the set for about a hundred dollars don't remember where 
He had it listed for $4.99 and had a buyer message him to sell him the pants only. My husband agreed and sold for $248.88 plus shipping. Had it listed for about a week. I have the sweater listed for $228.88 but hasn't sold yet. Vintage Coogie Down Under Blue Sweatpants 2XL Wow, what a find. Sold for $248.88. Patty Lavieri paid $20 at an estate sale, sold in three weeks. Took an offer of $375.01 plus $25 shipping. This is a Margaritaville mixed drink maker. 20 bucks sold for 375. Zach McDor, our garbage man philosopher, sold my weird trash pickup puppet show, local pickup. This is called Pelham Puppet Marionette Motorized Diorama Show. $538.61. So I'm guessing this was free because it was a trash pick. <laughs> yes, excellent sale. Louis Prizzy, he's a top contributor. Purchased at the thrift for $3, listed high-ish for $775, accepted a best offer of $650 after about a week. Child's Play VHS Chucky Horror. <laughs> oh yes, the icon of horror from the 1980s. Um, the redheaded stepchild Chucky. Um, he was just terrifying. And I never even saw the movie. And I will never see the movie because I just don't like that kid. <laughs> He's too scary. <laughs> okay, we're going to end with Tammy Hickey. Free to me from a clean out. I did buy the new case and a correct power cord, so had $45 into it. Had it listed for $7.99. Sold it in one day on best offer of $5.25, but buyer never paid. So auto relisted at day four of no payment, sold the next day for best offer of $700. Buyer has received it today and used it and is very happy with his purchase. It is used to treat neuropathy by stimulating the nerves and muscles, usually in the feet, and retails for $1,500 new. It is a prescription item if bought new, so was a bit worried about listing it, but several had sold recently, so decided it was okay. So yes, be very careful with listing things that require a prescription. Um, eBay will take those down. So there you have it, uh, $45, and it sold for $700. <laughs> Okay, we have made it to the end, and don't forget to check out this listing if you're interested in what's going on with it, because I definitely am. Thanks so much for watching, and for everybody who made it into the video, keep posting those sales, and I'll be back next week with the seller shout-out video. Have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye, everybody.